It is 946 on this Saturday. Time to imagine it. Carl Nelson is here from the Imagination Station. I said you walked in with a fire extinguisher. Whenever you do that, I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> yeah, we've got a little open flame here today. All right, got to put so, on the safety glasses. What are we doing? We're going to talk about steam. Okay. Okay, something everybody does at home, right? You boil water yep. on the stove. You add energy to the water. And what you're doing is you're adding enough energy, like right here, to, to give the molecules in the water enough energy to escape, to turn into a gas. Okay, which we're seeing. Exactly. And... It's kind of a trick question, though, because what you're seeing here is not steam. <gasps> oh. Okay, technically, steam is invisible. Okay. And as the steam comes out of this container, goes through this little copper contraption, mm -hmm. this tubing, and comes out, it begins to cool. It condenses into water ah, droplets. Ah, so that's what we're seeing. So, you know, it might be hard to see on the camera, I don't know, but that stuff right there yeah. is not steam. It's below 212 degrees. Okay. Okay. Sure. Now, what I want to see if we can do, though, is I want to see if we can light something on fire, catch a match on fire with some steam. Interesting. So here, go ahead and stick that in the, hold it tight, and then just stick it right in the steam. Okay. And I can tell you right now, it's probably no great surprise, it's not going to catch on fire. It's simply not hot enough. Okay. But the beauty of steam is, unlike water, we can't get this water any hotter than 212 degrees right now. Steam, on the other hand, we can superheat. Oh. So if I take this torch Ooh. and begin, we're blowing out a little bit of the water that was in our, uh, our copper tubing here. If I get this very, very hot, uh -huh. I should be able to get the steam inside hotter Ooh. than 212 degrees. Okay. That's going to take a little bit of time. You might actually want to take a fresh match because we got that one maybe okay. a little bit wet. All right. So go ahead and load up a fresh match there. Got and we're it. Gonna continue to heat this up until our visible steam begins to disappear. And you know, you might ask, why would you ever need superheated steam? It's sometimes it's used for cleaning, sterilizing, it's used in steam engines, because in a steam engine, you don't want to have that moisture in there, especially a steam turbine. Mo moisture that condenses on a turbine spinning at 10,000 RPM sure. could cause the whole thing to become unbalanced and explode. Or what about something that we'd have at home, let's say a uh, steamer that you would use clothes to do on clothes? Is that going to be the normal temperature or is it going to be superheated? That's not going to be superheated okay. steam. Um, I think superheated steam, think a guy with a blowtorch cheating up a sure. copper thing here. Um, <laughs> a little bit more industrial little, than, than your thing intense. at home? Okay. Absolutely. Go ahead and bring that match okay. near the end of that and let's see okay. if our steam is hot enough. And Bring it right near the very end, right up there. Oh, almost, maybe. Hold it there for a second. There we go. Ooh. So you got it to ignite. Yeah, okay? there you go. I want to see if we can do the same thing with a piece of paper. Okay. So go ahead and drop the match. Drop that out. I'm All right. Keep superheating this stuff. And if we bring the paper in, it's, you know, this is a really crude way of doing this. I'm not sure if we're at four Fahrenheit 451 or not, but we're kind of getting a little brown spot on the piece sure. of paper. Mm -hmm. Not very exciting. That's why I brought with me uh, the magician's friend called flash paper. Okay. This stuff is coated with a special chemical that will catch fire very, very rapidly and very, very All quickly. Right. So very cautiously bring that near the superheated steam uh -huh. and let's see if we can get that to Ooh. catch on fire. Ooh, okay. Wow, so and you know what? It's funny because I was worried about this hitting the table and it went out before it even hit the table. There's nothing left. Very right? cool. Give that one more try. Okay, one more pop time. It, pop it in the steam. What's nice Ready? about the flash paper, yeah, bring okay. it in. When it ignites, wow. it is completely consumed. There's no ash left over. It's just, okay, one little piece. One was left over. little piece. But I see what you're saying. Very yeah. cool. Okay, so, hey, so what you're seeing then at home when you're boiling something, it's not steam. It's not steam. Steam's invisible. That's All the right. big takeaway. Steam's invisible. You're seeing a fog. Hey, there you go. You always learn something. And the Imagination Station is open today. If you're heading down there after the holiday parade, you guys have some special things planned. We have Santa Claus there from one to five. Santa, I know He's him. There. Sounds Come good. Come down, check him out. That'll be awesome. Well, Carl, thanks so much for coming by. If you're heading and out of the parade, go to the Imagination Station after that. Get your picture taken with the big old guy. From there, let's get you up to speed on what's happening in sports. Here are the guys.